And viewers, let's also now go across to hear the farewell speech of Chief Justice of India, Justice Chandrachur, who's, who's, retiring, who's, uh, who's retiring now, and he's also spoken at his farewell speech. Let's listen in to the Chief Justice of India. My life, when I think both my sister and I don't remember her, I'll say just a few words about my father, who was a mentor, a good friend, a dear friend to me. He taught at the government law college, and so many of the great doyans of the bar, Fali Nariman, Soli Sorabji, Anil Diwan, Ashok Desai, all of them were his students. He was very disciplined, but he didn't discipline us as children. He thought that we should learn the ideals of discipline looking at the way he led a disciplined life. Two things which I'd like to share with you, otherwise I can go on forever about a parent, as all of us can. He bought this small house in, a small flat in Pune. And I asked him, why on earth are you buying a flat in Pune? When are you going to go and stay there? He told me one thing. He said, I know I'm never going to stay there. But he said, I'm not sure how long I will be with you. But do one thing. Keep this flat until the last day of your tenure as a judge. And I said, why is that? So he says, if you feel that your moral integrity or your intellectual integrity is ever compromised, I want you to know that you have a roof over your head. Never allow... Never allow, never allow yourself to be compromised, either as a lawyer or as a judge, because you have no place of your own. When I was young and I was growing up and I was in Delhi University, everyone took to, you had to do a subsidiary subject, and he, all my friends were taking either philosophy, most of them were taking philosophy, which was a subject where you read for one evening and passed, you had to only pass. But my father insisted that I should take up Hindi. Now, I knew only Bombay are Hindi. But he insisted that I took Hindi and it was a difficult call. But in the course of learning Hindi in college, I came across Mahadevi Verma, Jai Shankar Tripathi, Nirala, Ramdhari Singh Dinkar, and so many, Munshi Premchand, Gaban I must have read, at least a dozen times, just I read Cry the Beloved Country by Alan Payton later, which really inspired. 